Well, we have just looked at the method of pairwise comparisons, which was a method originally proposed by a Frenchman named Condorcet. And now we're going to look at yet another method proposed by a Frenchman named Borda. This is the Borda count method. Here is a statue of Borda, the Chevalier de Borda, at the Naval Academy in Brest. This is the equivalent of our Annapolis. And in the method that he proposed, the basic idea is that every voter has a certain number of points to be distributed. Let's call them points instead of votes. And we'll describe a basic method, but when you hear how it's described, you'll easily see that there are ways to vary it. There are many variants on this border count method. All right, here's the basic method. Let's suppose that there are N candidates. Then on every ballot, you're going to award that number of points, N points, for each first place vote. You're going to award N minus one points for the second place vote, N minus two for the third place vote, and so on, all the way down to the very last choice, and that will get one point. So for example, suppose N is four. That, that means suppose there were four candidates. Then the first place vote is worth four points, the second place vote is worth three points, the third place vote is worth two points, and the fourth place vote is worth one point. So every voter is actually distributing 10 points, four to their first choice, and so on. All right, here is an example. Let's suppose that we have a number of voters and they have four candidates among which they're going to say this is the best movie, okay? The four movies are Citizen Kane, Some Like It Hot, Lawrence of Arabia, and The Shawshank Redemption. So every voter has decided what they like best. They've made a preference ballot. They have decided, for example, 17 of them that they prefer Citizen Kane, and then their second choice is Some Like It Hot, and then Lawrence of Arabia, and finally their last choice is Shawshank Redemption. So just to check our understanding, let me ask how many points are awarded to Citizen Kane. Well, to figure this out, we have to look at all the ballots and see how many points have been given to Citizen Kane. So here are 17 ballots on which Citizen Kane has come out as the first choice. So that means that each one of those 17 voters is awarding four points to Citizen Kane. So from those 17 ballots, we get four times 17, or 68 points awarded to Citizen Kane. Now, here are 12 people who have said Citizen Kane is their last choice. Even though it's their last choice, they're still giving it a point apiece. So Citizen Kane picks up another 12 points there. And from these eight voters, Citizen Kane is going to get two points apiece. So that's 16. And again, here's a ballot on which Citizen Kane is last. There were three voters that said that Citizen Kane was their last choice in this type of ballot. So three points. And then finally, here are two ballots on which Citizen Kane again is the second choice. So it gets three points from each of those. So six. And now we have to add all these up. So 68 plus 12 plus 16 plus three. And if I've done that correctly, that comes out to be 105 points altogether awarded to Citizen Kane. Now, I think we'll see on the next slide whether I got that right. Let's see. Yes, I did do that correctly. 68 plus 12 plus 16 plus 3 plus 6 is 105. And then in the remaining three rows, I've done that same calculation for each of the other movies. 
some like it hot, 51 plus 48 plus 8 plus 9 plus 2, and that's 118. That's more than the number of points awarded for Citizen Kane. And in fact, after we do all the rest of the calculations, we'll see that that 118 was the largest number of points awarded, and therefore we say that some like it hot is the winner under this board account method. That's how it works, okay? It's just as simple as that. Now, how might you vary this? Well, instead of assigning points to all the candidates, you might say, well, I'll just do it up to a certain point, maybe the top three preferences. Or you might say, well, let's let people decide for themselves how strongly they feel. Let's give them a certain number of points, and they can distribute however they want. So there might be somebody they love, and they give all the points to that. Or there might be, say, two that they like equally well, so they distribute the same number of points to each of them, whatever they want to do. And then again, in the end, you count up the points and see who got the most points. So just as one example of this, the one that I said about the top three preferences, this is how balloting is done for the Heisman Trophy. So there's Archie Griffin with his two Heisman Trophies, and he won them when they voted using a variant of the board account method, namely look at all the college football players across the country and name your first three, okay? Then you get three points to their first choice, two to your second, and one to your third choice. 